everyone, it's Andy with the Reverb Tone Report, and today we're looking at a longtime favorite overdrive amongst the Nashville session guitarists, and really just guitarists around the world, because it really has a unique circuit. It's the Nobles ODR-1. You've probably seen this pedal's popularity just boom exponentially over the past few years, and because of that, we've seen a lot of other pedal builders do their own take on this circuit. So with that being said, let's check out the history of the ODR-1 and also some of the latest creations that this pedal has inspired. For decades, German company Nobles has been producing their own green overdrive, and it has nothing to do with the Tube Screamer circuit. Designer Kai Tachibana wanted to create the most natural overdrive that responded to his guitar's volume knob, just like his favorite 60s basement amp. To accomplish this, he firstly avoided the common bass cut and mid-bump that others were doing for so long and equipped the circuit with two pairs of diode clipping to yield a smoother sound. The unique spectrum control wasn't just a high roll-off, it actually is a dual filter that controls low mids as well as treble. This natural overdrive and fatter tone soon attracted the Nashville guitarist, who fell in love with the fatter sound it was giving to their single coil guitars. Soon after, Tachibana got feedback from humbucker fans that this much low end wasn't as helpful, so Nobles offered the ODR-BC for bass cut, and it proved to be a popular mod with other builders. You can find the ODR-1 bass cut along with a new mini version still created by Tachibana. But in 2018, he decided to take his company Nordland Electronics to another level, hand making his own designs in Germany using top shelf components and addressing all the feedback he heard from players. So the ODRC Custom Overdrive was born, with added low cut control, mid range adjustment, and an overdrive decompress control to really change up the headroom. Outside of Nobles and Nordland, you'll find ever growing varieties of this natural overdrive, one being the Wampler Bell, which includes custom mods like an adjustable bass cut and two choices of compression, all in a compact enclosure. But I'd like to turn your attention to something fresh out of the gate from George Trips and Way Huge Electronics, the STO. Trips does his own magic with this classic circuit, with the input circuit using an FET op amp instead of a discrete JFET circuit. And he swaps the 4558 op amp for a 4741. With all these new pedal variations, they all seem to share the same goal of avoiding that mid bump and creating an overdrive that sounds as natural as your amp just cranked up. With it back, it's not as muddy as a lot of, you know, those traditional high cut filters. You actually get kind of a scooped tone. So if you just increase the level and get back to unity gain, it's really that classic Fender sound. You know, you could you kind of play into any kind of amplifier and get that nice scooped mid range. <laughs> And the gain range is huge because we have soft and hard clipping. So it's just, you know, it gets really rowdy when you crank it up.
With the bell right next to it, you can tell how compact this pedal is, but it also gives you a lot of control like that bass cut. So let's stick with the Neck P90 and dial the tone, or in this case, the color back a little bit, and it just really tightens everything up. Well, we've got the bell here. Let's try a little bit more bass cut with humbuckers and also try on the side that button that changes the you know, clipping and the dynamics and compression. Now let's open things up and engage that switch on the side. It's a lot more touch sensitive. You kind of hear it, you know, kind of snap a little bit more. And I know it's a bit apples and oranges, but let's hear a couple low gain settings from the Way Huge STO and the Nobles ODR1. Now, the great thing about this kind of sound is that, uh, you know, the mids aren't really poking out. It's a perfect sound for, you know, just a nice rhythm crunch, something in the background, uh, something that's not going to steal the show, especially, you know, when you have vocals over the track. <laughs> And just like the ODR1, the STO from Way Huge has a really fat high gain sound. And you know, there's some really cool you know, higher tone settings here where you're getting a lot of low mids and highs. And again, those mids are flat. So it's really cool for single coils and humbuckers. But let's try it with the game wide open and just get a very dynamic sound with the guitar's volume knob.
Well, that's a quick look at the Nobles ODR-1 and some of the pedals it inspired. I know there's a lot more, so leave your favorite ODR-1 clone in the comments below. And of course, you could find the new Wayhuge STO and the Wampler Bell right here on Reverb. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.